Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a mezcalita. Not just any mezcalita, though, a blue mezcalita. Now, the mezcalita itself is a mezcal version of a margarita. Even though tequila and mezcal both come from the exact same plant, and they start off in their manufacture exactly the same way, they are two wildly different products. In fact, mezcal gives you that deep, intense, smoky taste. And a lot of people aren't familiar with it because of that smokiness, because they just normally reach for the basic tequila. However, this can highlight and uplift some of your cocktails in some of those, with some, I should say, with some of those nuanced, smoky flavors that people like. And you know what? Let's get into it. Now this is a simple shaken cocktail, but before we get started, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab your glass and put it off to the side because we're going to prep the rim. Now like a margarita, we're going to add a salt rim, but only half of the rim will be salted. And because we need lime juice for this cocktail, we're going to use a lime to do that. So we'll just cut one in half, and then we'll just rim half the glass with the lime juice and then dip it in salt. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Now just put this off to the side like so. And what we're going to do is grab your squeezer and we're going to add in three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters of lime juice. Now that you've done that, what we are going to do is we are going to add a little bit of agave syrup. And for this, we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters and you can adjust the type of syrup that you want to use you just have to remember that agave is twice as sweet as a simple syrup just totally up to you for your flavor profiles absolutely gorgeous i love this stuff it works great with tequila cocktails so what we're going to do now is add your mezcal of choice. I'm using Mexicali, it's what I have, it was easy to get, um, and it's got a great smoky flavor. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters from the slowest pouring lid in the pot. Now I did just say smallest pouring lid, and in fact it's not even the lid. What this actually is, is a cap that fits inside the throat of the, or the neck of the bottle and that actually limits the amount of liquid that will come out at any times and you'll see this in many spirits very much like an overproofed rum and what this actually does is stop people from siphoning it off and adding some water to cut down that alcohol level and that's something that happened with some really seedy bars because they cut that amount down you'd still get the flavor but you wouldn't realize you're being ripped off now it's kind of annoying when you're making your own drinks at home, but it's an interesting talking piece. So the next thing we're going to use is a blue curacao and I'm using McGuinness brand. It's what I have. It's what I can get my hands on. And this will give us the orange liqueur that you need for your margaritas and a mezcalita, but it's going to give us that fantastic blue color. And we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. This is looking really, really good. So the next thing you're going to do is add some ice. And what we'll do is we'll shake this with a straw for a good 10 to... ...15 seconds. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. And make sure you shake it till you get a good frost on the cylinder. However, you're now going to grab your glass and what we'll do is we'll pour in some fresh ice. And you wanna just fill it up all the way. You don't need a lot of ice. You're just, you know, topping it up nicely there just for you. Now, since this is your own drink at home, don't worry about touching the ice, but if you're making it for friends, use a scoop, pair of tongs, totally up to you. So what we're going to do now is fine strain this to keep out any ice chips and pulp from the lime juice, like so. Oh, this is go absolutely gorgeous. Just can't go wrong with something that looks like this. Now we are gonna garnish this with a piece of dehydrated lemon. And we'll just slide that in like so, and it's fantastic looking. Let's just give it a smell. So immediately you get subtle hints of smoke. You get a little bit of orange and a little bit of lime. Mm, very, very good. 
the uh, mm, the agave brings out that sweetness. The lime is right there, so it's not overly tart. And the smoke is subtle. It is not super strong. This is a fantastic blue mescalita. Now, what I will do is I will put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.